Hi everyone, Kate here with Ide Bailey Technology Consulting, and today I am going to show you how to make a backup company in Sage 100. Backup companies are incredibly useful for testing transactions, customizations, and as a backup of your company at a certain point. Many people make backup companies at each quarter end or year end to serve as a snapshot of their data at that moment. This is especially useful for payroll. To make a backup company, we need to first create the new company in Library Master, Main, and then Company Maintenance. And you want to start by entering a company code that's not already in use. I'm using TST for a test company. Once you've entered the name, um, you can also enter any address, telephone, fax number, federal, or state ID numbers, whatever you require. At that point, you want to click Activate. And it's going to say the company record must be saved before activation can occur. And we say, yeah, save it now. We get to choose what modules we want to activate for our new company. Common information and general ledger are required for all companies. But after that, you get to pick and choose what you really want. So we'll start here, and let's just say this is accounts receivable backup, along with the GL. So I'm going to click Proceed. And what it's doing now is making blank records for those modules. We're going to then copy data from the live company into those blank modules. Okay, so at this point, you want to click Copy. And this is a really important moment. So if you're only half listening, now's the time to fully listen for just like the next 15 seconds, then you can go back to half listening. Um, but right now you need to make absolutely sure that your source company is your live company with good data that you actually want to keep and that your destination company is the new company that you're creating. This cannot be undone. If it's copied the wrong way and I manage to copy this new test company into my live company, it's going to erase all of my live company data. Um, the only way to fix this situation is to restore from a backup. So two points here. Number one, make sure you have a good backup of the entire Sage 100 installation before executing this. And number two, take a moment here to make sure that the source company is your live company and that your destination is your backup company. So cool. All right, so now you can choose which modules again that you want to copy. I just did AR and you can see that it automatically selected GL and common information because those are required. So I'm going to click proceed here. And I always take this moment, I know I stress this a lot, but um, to make sure that I'm copying the correct direction. When it asks me, do you want to copy all data files to the selected company, <laughs> I want to make sure that's right before I click yes. Now is a good moment to stretch, get coffee, play some ping pong while your data copies over. Depending on the size of your company data, it, it can take a while, or as you see, it can be pretty fast. I did not get any coffee in that amount of time. But at this point, now that it's done, it's, it's, I can click accept and I have a complete copy of my live company. I can log into my test company and post really strange transactions, make sure they're going to work how I want to, or just let that sit out there um, as a snapshot of my data. And that's how you make a backup company in Sage 100. As always, if you have any questions, our team is here to help. Click the link below to get in touch.